Hey, it's the Nerdy Sports Fan, and we're going over the offseason needs for every team in the league before free agency and the NFL scouting combine really take hold. So, we're into the NFC West now. And the Seahawks are interestingly positioned. Now, they just picked up Greg Olson. Every quarterback loves having a pass. <coughs> Excuse me. A good pass-catching tight end. And, and Russell Wilson is no exception. All right? Uh, this is going to be very good for him. Uh, having a safety relief that's not his legs. Yeah, that's beneficial. Um, you need to extend Clowney. You, ne you need to keep that man on this team. Um, he was very, very good for the Seahawks this past season. Even on in games where he didn't actually sack the quarterback, you saw the effect that he had on teams. The pressure that he's able to create and how teams scheme to take him out of things makes openings for other players. So, Clowney is huge to get back. You really need to upgrade the interior of the defensive line. Because they weren't the greatest against the run. They could improve significantly. A lot of times I think if they didn't have Bobby Wagner, their run defense would be awful. Because that man, he's a gigantic band-aid for that defense. Um... They need to upgrade the offensive line. They allowed a lot of quick pressure against San Francisco. And that's your main competition. If you're not going to just knock off the 49ers, um, just get them the hell out of your way, you're not doing it right. I mean, you need to win your division. All right? And 49ers really took it to you. So, the team being healthy will be big. Uh, the team growing, just stepping into their roles more, specifically DK Metcalf. That'll be big. Growth. Good for wide receivers. The running back room, man your top three running backs all getting injured at the end of the season. That hurt. Considering how much Carson meant to this offense. Um, and, and Penny w was doing his thing. Both of them get hurt. Your third guy gets hurt. And you got to bring Marshawn Lynch out of retirement in order to do anything in the playoffs. Lynch was able to get short yardage scores. Exactly what they needed him to get when uh, Pete Carroll called that passing slant in the Super Bowl. But that's it. You know, n no running plays went for any real distance with him. And you shouldn't expect it. I mean, he's old, all right? I love him, all right? He's one of my favorite players in the history of the damn league. But, yeah, at his age, you should not be expecting much out of him. So, Carson and Penny, that one-two is kind of what you need to keep them from getting hurt. They just oddly both got hurt. You don't think that's going to happen again. But just... To make sure it doesn't happen again, maybe should upgrade the offensive line, increase the distance that they're running before they actually make initial contact, because these guys at full speed, hell of a lot harder to deal with, harder to tackle, than when you can get behind the line of scrimmage and, and stop them before they get any momentum. So, it... Increasing the efficiency of the offensive line, I think, is crucial.
for this team moving forward. Clowney's big. Clowney's big. Offensive line's bigger. So, uh, they have $60 million in cap space. That can do a lot. It can't do everything. Can't do everything, especially if you're extending Clowney. That's going to soak up a lot of that money. Just one dude. You're going to lose 20 to $25 million in your cap space just there. So, yeah. A little over a third of what you have available will go to him. You'll spend $5 million on your draft class. So, now you're halfway done with your cap space. Just between the draft class and Clowney. You're giving Olsen some money. But not a hell of a lot. You know, he's a tight end at the end of his career. So, can you fix the O-line with the amount of money you have? Can you get maybe one more good receiver? with the money you have. Personally, I think you can. Offensive linemen don't command a huge amount of money unless they are top-tier tackles and centers. So, a good guard, a not top-tier guy that's better than the guy you got, you, you can get at a bargain. So, Tell me what you guys think should be the primary targets for the Seahawks this offseason. Tell me what you want to see in the draft. Tell me what you want to see in free agency. I'd love to hear it. Hit me up in the comments. Like and subscribe if you enjoy the content. And thanks for watching, guys.